You know, it kind of evolved. It really started uh, a number of years ago when I was asked to do a program for kids for WBGO. You know, they do a wonderful, wonderful um, weekend master class, concert, kind of behind the scenes about jazz, and they invite kids and families. As a matter of fact, you can't go with an adult, uh, you can't go as an adult unless you have a child. And so I was asked by Dorothon Kirk, of course, and um, my brother by another mother, Gary Walker, to do this program. Jazz House Kids came about through this workshop with WBGO and I decided to build a jazz house and our very first program was called Let's Build a Jazz House. And so I really wanted to kind of explain to people and kind of demonstrate by everybody being involved that together we build this jazz house and we build it from the ground up. And every instrument and every person, if you're a singer or if you're a player, has a place and that, that house comes together and that house lives in a neighborhood and I you know we kind of just showed how the audience is part of that neighborhood or a jazz club or a jazz festival and so and then that neighborhood exists in the bigger world and that's why using that common language of jazz you can go any place in the world and have you know I think some of the highest level and emotional and passionate conversations even if you don't speak a common language of, of English or you know someone else's native native tongue you speak that universal language called jazz and so that became the jazz house yeah. or jazz house kids as it were jazz house kids programs began in the schools and specifically in Newark schools. I was living and working in Newark. As a matter of fact, my first um, foundation was the Prudential. And today, they're still a very strong supporter of this organization. And I was working in the law department and kind of moonlighting. I don't know if I was moonlighting as an operations manager or if I was moonlighting as a musician, but you know, kind of had this dual career. And so, I had this opportunity to go in the schools with Let's Build a Jazz House. And I just found so many kids who were excited by this music, but had never heard of the music. As a matter of fact, many of the young people didn't even know the instruments that we had. I mean, some of them said, well, what's that? And I, you know, it was, well, that's the bass. And, you know, I was struck by, well, that's a saxophone. And, and, you know, it was in time what I realized is that, you know, today's young people are listening to music, but oftentimes don't have exposure to live instruments and live presentation of music. So this really began kind of organically, and the Jazz House and the Jazz House Kids just continued to flourish in school. So we started with small assembly programs, you know, a program for, say, 200 young people. And then in time, we decided to give a more deeper experience and we do what's called residencies and so now we're actually found in 16 schools and we're, we're there every day or every week you will find us in a school and most of those schools are in struggling communities where we want to level the playing field and offer them what we think is this homegrown music called jazz and it and it has such a, a rich palette for for one's own personal development. Um, and so you will find us doing assembly programs. You will find us doing um, middle, you know, three, four month um, residencies. And you will find us in some schools where we're actually the music department, where they don't have the funds for a full-time music um, instructor, but they do feel that it's important to teach the entire child and to give them a real strong, um, array of the arts and we will be involved in that. We're in traditional schools and we're in charter schools. Um, and so we, you know, it has evolved the whole educational experience from one that is um, kind of enrichment to now having a real deeper cultivation of their music education learning experience. So from that Once we spent a lot of time in the schools, Jazz House kids felt that we needed to engage students 
in a more personal way and have an even richer experience. And so we opened up the Jazz House now about five years ago. And the Jazz House is where kids come from um, over 40 communities, 11 counties. In the summer, we have a summer workshop and that pulls students from about six states. And these kids come again every day of the week. They can come on a Saturday. Um, adults, we have adult programming on Sundays. And they will then become and get involved in our vocal academy, uh, which is a very robust uh, vocal program. They'll be, if they're younger and new to jazz, they'll be involved in our Armstrong a track. And so kids can start as young as eight years old in that, in that track. Um, our blues and roots for kind of those intermediate uh, students and then our jazz messengers for s our students that are more advanced. And those kids are involved in what we call our ensembles. And that's where they really get the fundamentals of jazz and they get the introduction to improvisation, which of course is just one of the pillars of jazz. And then we have a whole track called the our big bands. We now have three big bands. I'm so proud of them they, because they uh, have allowed the array of kids, our younger students, as well as our most talented and advanced students, a place to play in that big band format, which is really exciting. And so every day of the week you can come. Uh, we um, have students from 8 to 18 and they're all different levels and again they come from a, a rich diverse background which I think is a part of the special sauce at the Jazz House is that you're meeting all kinds of kids and the, la and the playing field is really uh, leveled when you walk in that door and uh, then we of course do concerts uh, and you know in the community um, at the jazz clubs and so they get an authentic um, jazz house and jazz experience and I think that's again the special sauce to that 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 uh, success of jazz house kids is that all the teachers this is what they do for a living uh, this is their passion it's front and center in their life they dedicated their lives to this so you know the mentorship is very high the apprenticeship of, of getting that live experience um, happens, the music and the education. And that's the pillars of the j Jazz House, music, mentoring, education, and apprenticeship. And you really see it in action at the Jazz House. You know, the, I think the foundation of Jazz House are all the people that, that work there, that really embrace this organization, your board, your staff, and your teaching artists. I mean, there's very little that would really happen without that core and that, that foundation. We have just some of the best uh, and brightest faculty members. And I, I think what is so inspiring to me as, as the leader of this organization is their absolute dedication and their passion. You it will, will not be surprised um, to find a, a one of our faculty members taking a student's instrument and helping them get it repaired, picking up a young person who wants to go to a jam session, um, bringing in their music and, and sharing with them some of the treasures that they learned uh, from the artist of whose shoulders that they stand on. And some of that core faculty of ours I'm just you know, incredibly proud of. Mike Lee, Bruce Williams, uh, Rodham Schwartz, uh, Ted Chubb, who runs our, our whole artistic um, student performance and faculty uh, department. Uh, you will find, you know, of course, Christian McBride, of course, my husband, who is the artistic chair of Jazz House Kids, has then brought in a whole array of, you know, the international players on the scene. So you will have um, Chick Corea spent a day with us, Al Jarreau, David Sanborn, Pat Matheny, Esperanza Spaulding, Diane Reeves, Jimmy Heath. Um, you know, the, the, it, it just goes on the number of artists that have come and have been so incredibly um, generous with their time and their teaching. And I think um, they've expanded kids beyond belief in terms of. Um, the musicality, but the humanistic quality 
of this and a life that is led and filled with passion. I think when you see that, um, they learn by experience. But I have to say, Jazz House Kid sits on the shoulders, uh, you know, day to day of that faculty. Uh, you know, Dave Stryker, Michelle Rose women, uh, you know, the people that have come into the lives, um, you know, year after year for these kids and have really, really been there and have helped them in so, so many ways. And I, I hear it every day from really grateful parents and I see it in the eyes and in the friendships um, of these of these kids, and so the, the list is long. To Julius Tolentino, and it just it just really continues to grow. So we're very very fortunate where we're located around so much top talent, and you know I think at at the core to most musicians is to give back because their first lessons. They, can, they all have that aha moment where a, a, an amazing, incredible musician walked into their school um, or when they became, you know, emerging professionals, uh, kind of tapped their shoulders. Everyone stands on the shoulders of someone, and I think to whom much is given, much is expected, and I think jazz musicians are some of the most giving people on the earth. Hi, this is Melissa Walker. For more fabulous videos, go to jazztimes.com.